Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I have taken up SAP GST configuration for our discussion. I will be doing the tutorials in depth and have planned to cover the entire GST configuration in several sessions. Let's have a quick look into the list of topics we would be covering in the complete course. Part 1, I will be walking you through the introduction that is what is GST, what is the impact of GST in SAP, the prerequisites that needs to be taken care to configure GST in SAP. Part 2, we will have discussion on organizational data, wherein we will be covering the tax registration process, definition of business places as per the business requirements, and assigning plans to business places. In part 3, we will see the creation of HSN and SEC codes and master data related changes which includes your material master, service master, vendor master, customer master and creation of your GL accounts to capture GST. In part 4, we will be seeing tax and pricing procedures that is the tax settings which you need to maintain in material management and sales and distribution modules. In part 5, we will be discussing on all the business processes wherever taxes are involved like your purchases for inward taxes, your sales for outward taxes, special scenarios like stock transfer, subcontracting and finance related scenarios like one-time vendor payments, non-purchase order related invoices, down payments and reverse charge mechanisms imports, exports, journal vouchers and so on. Part 6 we have got for our discussion the GST returns where we will be seeing the types of GST returns and the filing process itself. Since the list for our discussion is pretty lengthy and also that I wanted to train you in depth, I have planned to discuss these topics in several sessions. I will be releasing videos almost every alternative day. So please stay tuned in and make use of these videos to learn GST in SAP. For those who are watching my video for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel where I post interesting videos on SAP covering topics from basics to the most complex scenarios. Please remember to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. For today's discussion, I have taken up part 1 which includes the following topics. An introduction into what is DST, what is the impact of GST in SAP and the prerequisites that needs to be taken care to configure GST in SAP. We all know goods and services tax that is GST is an indirect tax. Indirect tax is so called as it is paid indirectly by the final consumer of goods and services while paying for purchase of goods or for enjoying services. It is collected by the producer or the supplier or retailer and paid to the government ultimately the GST is paid by the final consumer. GST India is a system of indirect taxation in India. It was introduced by the 101st Amendment to the Constitution Act 2016. GST is a comprehensive levy on manufacture, sale and consumption of goods and services. Now what is comprehensive levy? It is called comprehensive levy because it has subsumed almost all the indirect taxes except very few. The table here shows the indirect taxes that are replaced by GST. That is the reason GST is called a comprehensive levy of 
goods and service tax because it has subsumed the long list of indirect taxes like under the central taxes we had the central excise duty service tax special additional duty of customs central sales tax and so on and under state taxes we had value added tax octroi and entry tax purchase tax luxury tax and a long list of such indirect taxes now these taxes are subsumed that is the reason we call gst as comprehensive levy of goods and service tax on manufacture purchase and sale of goods and services The present GST regime is effective from 1st July 2017. As per the current regime, there is a dual levy with state or union territory GST and central GST. You also have integrated GST for the interstate supplies which is a sum total of CGST and SGST or union territory GST as the case may be. Union territories with legislature that is Delhi and Puducherry will adopt SGST act and the other five union territories without legislatures will adopt UTGST act In simpler terms supply of goods and services shall either be intrastate or interstate an intrastate supply is one where the provider and the recipient are both located in the same state or the same union territory the supply of goods and services shall be interstate if the provider and the recipient are located in different states or different union territories so now any business transaction can have any of the following combination of taxes now for example supply of goods and or services happening within a state that is an intra state shall attract cgst and sgst for supply of goods and services within union territories that is intra union territory you attract cgst and utgst for supply of goods and or services across states and or union territories that is interstate or inter union territory igst applies now let's see the features of gst india the central government levies the central gst state government levies the state gst central government also levies the integrated gst and transfers the tax to the destination state that is the revenue out of the igst is transferred to that particular state where the actual supply happens that is the place of supply this is as against to that of the origin in the previous re regime so now it is based on the destination the taxes are calculated and distributed now while exports are zero rated igst is levied on imports of goods to india just like the igst in case of interstate supply of goods and services that portion of revenue out of igst is transferred to that state government that is consuming the imports Another important feature of GST is the GST law allows the business to reduce their tax liability by claiming credit to the extent of GST paid on purchases that is the tax that a business pays on a purchase can be utilized to reduce its tax liability when it makes a sales we just saw how input tax credit can be utilized to reduce your tax liability however as per rules effective 1st february 2019 please remember that the order of set off of input tax credit will now start with integrated tax credit 
over the central tax credit or the state tax credit or the union territory tax credit as the case may be that is unless and until integrated tax credit has been completely utilized one cannot use the other credits available next the credit of cgst and sgst cannot be cross utilized that is no input tax credit on account of cgst shall be utilized towards payment of sgst and vice versa this slide is about how goods and services are divided into five different tax labs for collection of tax at five different rates that is 0%, 5%, 12%, 18% and 28%. There are still certain products which are not brought under the GST regime and are still taxed under the previous tax regime. There are certain other products which are now taxed at 28% GST that attracts a cess of 22% or more like the aerated drinks, luxury cars, tobacco products and so on. Now let's see the prerequisites that needs to be taken care before implementing GST in SAP. As per SAP note 1175384 you need to have the following minimum support pack level for SAP underscore APPL software component to get subsequent support from SAP for all the legal changes for country India version with regards to all indirect taxes. Before implementing GST in SAP, it is mandatory for your SAP customer to be having condition based tax procedure tax INN. For those who are still using the formula based tax procedure tax INJ, it is mandatory to first migrate to tax procedure tax INN which is a condition based tax procedure. Implementing GST in SAP has brought system-wide changes in tables, configurations, master data, tax structure, incidence of tax, tax utilization, the very business process itself and finally the reporting. We shall be seeing each one of these in several sessions that follows. In my next video which I shall be releasing in couple of days, I shall cover the organizational data that needs to be configured under GST implementation. Stay tuned in. Hope you found this session really useful. If yes, please give a big thumbs up. Your suggestions are welcome. Please comment. Please kindly share this video. For those who are new to my channel, please subscribe in case this really is interesting. You could access the study material from my blog page. The links I shall leave in the description box below. Thanks for watching.